Today in this video, we will solve a very common Windows installation error called we could not create a part new partition or locate an existing one. Let's start this video. Let me first show you how you can backup your data. This is completely optional process. You can ignore this. On this error page, press Shift plus F10 to open the command prompt window. Here, type Notepad and hit Enter. This will open the Notepad. On the top left corner, click on File, then Open. Then click on this PC and connect your external hard drive. Now go to the folder where you have your important data. Right click on it and click on copy. Then click on this PC and go to your external hard drive and click right click and click on paste. Note that this copy and paste process will not show you a progress bar. Now let's move to the first method of solving this error. On the command prompt, type this part, then type list disk. This will list all the available disk. I have the issue with disk 0 as you can see. So I have to type select disk 0 then clean this will clean the disk now type convert GPT all done now you have to type exit to exit the terminal and click on refresh Now you have to click on new and click on apply and ok. This will solve your issue. If method number 1 does not work, then follow along with the method number 2. Open the command prompt by pressing shift plus F10. Then here type disk part. Then type list disk. Then type select disk 0. Then type clean. This will again clean the drive. Now here type create partition primary size is equals to 5000. This will create a partition of size 5000 megabytes. Now type format fs is equals to ntfs quick. This will format the volume to ntfs type. Now type assign. Now type active. Now type list volume and type exit. Here you have to CD into your installation media drive. In my case it's E as you can see on the above command. So I have to type CD E colon. Now type X copy space your installation media drive later in my case it's e so e colon then you have type c colon slash e slash h slash k then hit enter this will take a lot of time so you have to be patient here
when it's done type exit to exit the window now your error is resolved you can now install the windows